you know, when you first first start dating someone, what I find is there's always this moment when you're going to take them into a crowd of people. You've you've done all your time in your little bubble of love together and you decide, hey, we should probably go and like, you know, actually interact with the rest of the world now. And you take them to a party or some some event and there's such a wonderful moment if you see that they just hold their own in that event and they you know obviously you want them to also show they're with you and hey i'm proud with this person and you know we got that you know we're showing each other off sort of thing but there's that kind i feel like it's a perfect simulacrum if you will of the idea of like dependence and independence together well i think that the competence that's needed for that is the ability to hold your own in conversation make conversation with someone nearby be comfortable just chilling in a room but the deeper the deeper reason for that is that you're good at paying attention to your partner's needs that you can go in a room and recognize the moment when your partner needs help and needs you to be by their side because they're a little nervous moments when they need saving from a conversation and moments where they need to be left to a conversation and where the best gift you could give them in that moment is to make yourself busy. That to me is another way of paying attention. Not what do I need to feel comfortable right now in this room, but what does my partner need right now to have the best time? And then of course the ability to be on your own and not have a babysitter is really handy when you recognize that your partner happens to be all right at the moment and in a you know conversation or a story or whatever that doesn't need us or sometimes like is having a conversation with a friend that they're catching up with where they actually could use a few minutes of space yeah and it can be like a beautiful unspoken gift and in some ways it's like that is the It seems small, but it's like that is the stuff of relationships, right? That makes them work. It's like when, you know, the the Chris Rock special that's called Tambourine and the whole, you know, crux of that one point rests on this story he tells of that he wanted to, you know, at one point in his marriage before he divorced, it was like, he thought, well, I, I make all the money and I'm like the you know, I'm the alpha in this and it's about me and I'm the star sort of thing. And and he realized that would that just doesn't work. And mm-hmm. you you have to at some point, you have to play the tambourine at some point for someone else. And the tambourine being the person who sometimes is in the back just doing their thing and cheering the other on or supporting the other main act. And I feel like those those acts are the moment where you think, ah, oh, I've got someone I can I can, this works. 